In today's episode, we're going to talk about the biggest mistake that people do in ranked while playing on Icebox. Welcome to the next episode of Lotus Lab, I think 53 or 54, I'm not mistaken. Uh, and I know Icebox goes away in two weeks, on 25th of um, April, and I should have recorded this video actually months ago, but I think it's still worth... Um, explaining to you this concept because it might apply to a different map but it also icebox is going to come back at some point and this is not going to be changed so what do we see typically when people are attacking a and as you know on icebox the only strategy that works is attacking a um people are going to attack a through this corridor and that's the biggest mistake that people do why because once you are going into this corridor you expose yourself for no reason to an attack specifically also on rounds where people have an operator a marshal or something you're gonna have a problem because there's gonna be someone standing here on this spot watching you when you cross from the corridor right so this player over here maybe here maybe a little bit to the left he's gonna have the contact on you <laughs> and uh because of that he's gonna have a chance at killing you how do you make a solution to that well, one thing is, well, you can just smoke this and go through, right? You can just wipe a wall and so on. Yes, that is a solution. But for that, you actually need to use utility, which is not necessary. Because the simplest thing that you can do is you can just go belt and jump down at the bottom. The only reason for going into this corridor would be to go silently. But if you go silently, even if you hug the wall over here, you will be visible. Your arm will be visible so if someone is standing properly on jenny he will still see you maybe he will not shoot you but he will be alerted so there's literally absolutely no reason to ever go into this corridor and potentially expose yourself to danger and unfortunately in ranked you will see a lot of free kills happening in this area also remember that if someone is playing a sova a viper a raise or any damaging utility uh, agent in the game, they can just throw anything over here and just ch give you chip damage for no reason. Like, it's happening so often, like min-maxing your early um, threats, or like, maybe not threats, because that's from you, but like, min-maxing your risk that you take at the beginning of the round is one of the concepts that many people don't utilize in ranked but this is like the biggest offender that you will see it's just it just makes no absolutely no sense to ever go into that corridor um at the beginning of the round always better to go belt and then you have two directions either you jump down or you go right side and unfortunately by the way pay attention to pro games at icebox you're gonna see that those kills are still happening at pro level in tier 1 esports as well. It's pretty maddening, but it is what it is. But in general, I just wanted to make this short video because it might still be useful in few months. I don't think they will rework this area over here in Icebox. Uh, what I will think, sorry, what I think will be reworked on Icebox is gonna be the mid area to give it a little bit space, maybe some weird ass cover to like try to go in two stages uh and probably this area over here is also gonna get reworked maybe the actual b site is gonna get reworked so it's not like a straight line or something but there will be definitely some changes so i actually am pretty sad that icebox um goes away because i like the map and i do think that at a professional level we finally see some innovation in compositions but not an actual play style because we don't see still enough pressure being done towards mid, even when people are playing two controllers. It's actually so maddening that even though you see Viper and a Harbor or Viper and Omen being used in compositions, you will never see a Harbor utility being used on mid because it's always a Viper orb, which has much more value, by the way, on sites because of the potential decay and actual pressure being done by that smoke not like a normal smoke that doesn't really do anything but i digress this is totally off topic hope you guys enjoyed this episode and um yeah we'll see you around we'll see each other around next time bye bye